Welcome to Weasel Jug Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the uh, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows um, Luminous Frost theme deck featuring the Aloan Nine Tails. So we'll go ahead, we'll get right into it. Let's open this box up. As always, inside we have the little clamshell here that contains everything. And first item we're looking at here is the play mat. And some moon ones were two player play mats, rather large. And maybe I can get it unfolded here sometime. Okay, so here's the play mat. Um, let's get kind of the burning shadows logo kind of art around the side there so we have uh the alolan uh nine tails there on this side on the other side we have lichen rock the other theme deck from sun and moon burning shadows of course on here is all the places where you put your cards and parts of the turn and special conditions and the rest of the rules are on the back side of the sheet. So there's our player mat. Then, of course, we have our damage tokens. Double-sided cardboard, poison, fire, the GX token. It's all there. There is a smaller folded-up insert here. On one side, we have the card checklist for Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. And on the other one, we have the what's new information. So what kind of rules apply to Sun and Moon and specifically Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, if there's anything new here. Um, burn Pokemon, Alolan Pokemon, GXs, all that kind of stuff is all laid out there. We have a coin. In this case, it's the, of course, the Aloha Nine Tails. Um, kind of a shiny bubble effect to it. Nice looking coin. There is, of course, the code card for the online deck. And there is the holographic. Let's zoom in here. The uh, holographic Alolan the Nine Tails, and that Alolan Nine Tails is of course a water type, has 110 health, has an ability called Luminous Barrier, prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX, and has a three energy Aurora Beam attack for 80 damage. That's really not very impressive. Um, so. <laughs> Not sure how good the rest of this deck's gonna be either. Uh, that's a bit of a letdown there. So, uh, we of course have also the deck box containing the other 59 cards from the deck with some nice Alolan Nine Tails art on there. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. It's really nice art of that. I like that one. Okay, so into the rest of the deck. This is a uh, primarily water deck. I think there's also fire in here. But we start off with one, two, three, four water energy. We have a Simapore, an Alolan Sand Shrew, water energy, timer ball, escape rope. Fire Energy, Horsey, How, Buffalant, Water Energy, Big Malasada, Rescue Stretcher, Alolan Vulpix, a Fire Energy, Panpour, Nest Ball, Water Energy, 
Pan Seer, the non-holographic Alolan Ninetales, Professor Kakui, Fire Energy, Heatmore, Water Energy, Alolan Sand Slash, Water Energy, Seedra, How, Fire Energy, Kingdra, Alolan Sand Shrew, Timer Ball, Water Energy, Wishful Baton, Lana, Alolan Vulpix, Water Energy, Professor Kakui, Energy Retrieval, Water Energy, Horsey, Alolan Sand Slash, Fire Energy, Simapore, Pansir, Nest Ball, Simisir, Water Energy, Panpour, Heatmore, Water Energy, How, Alolan Vulpix, Bruxish, Fire Energy, and a Seedra. So that's the entire deck of this Alolan Sand Slash Luminous Frost deck. Um, stay tuned later this week. I'll be going into a uh, tactical breakdown, how best to play this, strengths, weaknesses, that kind of stuff. Um, so come back for that. And of course, stick around over the next couple weeks for more of these. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.